So before anyone else tells my story, okay, I'm out here walking my life my way. Hello, birdie. Sweet, 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 sweet. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you for the gift that keeps on giving. The present for the present is the present, and I am still living. Here to tell my tale, my creativity has tripled, or maybe quadrupled. So happy birthday, sir. George Zimmer Rockefeller, who is a Gemini, born today. By the way, mathematically speaking, my first and second house is Gemini, his wife, a legacy to Nancy Carnegie. <laughs> Read about what the Carnegie's do. Anyway, legacy, marriage, legacy. She was brilliant too. Genius, marriage, genius. She was a Sagittarius. I know, right? Okay. That's her coming through. Confirmation, that's exact. <laughs> yeah, we laugh at you. Anyway, as I sit here in the real app chair on Rockefeller property, thank you, William. Thank you, Mom William, for building this. A master builder in reality way. Hug a tree, hug a tree. Remind you when I said that. And uh, some fake people, Hollywood, co-opted it. Then try to throw that back in my face like they try to throw a therapy in the face of military people. But military, no. And I'm reaching who I want to. So it's good. All I need to do is sit in this chair, sit back, shine, and glow on his birthday. Oh, I see spider webs here. But I'm good. In a real air chair, not the narrative. Woo, girl. And they say what? She's on what? Because I talk fast. My chemistry teacher knew that. My physics teacher knew that. My parents knew I was highly elevated. I was a different class, but clearly they were a different class too. But anyway, happy birthday to James Dimmer Rockefeller. I am happy to be here. So I thank you. You are a genius. If I ever wanted to learn from a high fiber gym and remind you i haven't even really done my mom and my dad's natal charts but uh i mean clearly you can see what they are through me so i'm living out that reality but say if i'm going through my chart again you know what if i looked at a gemini and i looked at how he built this place or what he did his vision was pure genius there are people who talk genius and there are people who are genius and he knew what to do with money he was a billionaire who just didn't sit on money he did things he had a real vision you know different rockefeller goals i'm just saying if i was to, cha if I was to challenge somebody ast astrologically speaking as far as gemini who would i use as a role model outside of my parents because my parents are going to be my first role models that's actually it everything comes afterwards this man will be next for as far as Gemini, right? Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, sir. I'm with it. And did you know that his father, his, no, not his father, his great uncle, John D. Rockefeller, a billionaire, a really self-made billionaire, he is the, literally one of the main reasons that the Rockefeller name is the Rockefeller name. He was a cancer. Where's the moon at today? The moon is in cancer, by the way. Who we not finished yet. And his uh, moon sign was in Gemini. Yeah. Sun and Cancer's moon was in Gemini. Not finished yet. And I did tell you that my Saturn is in Sagittarius, which is like my mom, like Miss Nancy, right? Well, John D. Rockefeller, Sagittarius. Saturn, excuse me. I got ahead of myself. I always do. John D. Rockefeller, Saturn is in guess what? Sagittarius, as you would say, Holy Spirit come through, not finished yet. And his north node would be hot, damn it, in Pisces. Alignment. What do you see when you look at me? You have not a clue. But you go ahead and do you. Oof. Thank you. This is awesome. Val Jones is having an awesome day. The gift that was a gift that gets a if the present for the present is the present. Okay. <laughs> Blue Fox says nothing I need to say. I am that I am. As the breeze blows. Ah, oh, I feel so good to be here. Thank you. Hashtag naturally though. <laughs> what would John D. Rockefeller do? Fuck them baby girls with you. Thank you, sir. I will.